everybody, Steve here. In today's video blog, I want to show you how you can geotag your photos, even if you don't have a camera that has the geotagging capabilities built into it. Now, uh, if you have an iPhone or something like that, maybe an Android, pretty much you can be assured that when you snap a photo with a smartphone, there's a good chance, especially on the iPhone, because I have an iPhone and I know that's true, that when I snap a photo, the photo itself is going to be geotagged. In other words, the information inside that photo is going to contain some GPS coordinates. And I can actually use those coordinates to pinpoint the position on a map, such as Google Maps, exactly where I took that photo. So today, I want to show you how, and I'm going to explain also in a blog post, how you can make your camera a geotag, a GPS camera, if you would, even though your camera may not uh, be capable of that particular feature. So I'm going to show you how I do it today with a Canon 60D that has no GPS capabilities, but I'm going to show you the workaround, how it works. Okay, but the two things that you're going to need to do it the way that I'm going to do it is number one is an iPhone with an app called GPS Stone, and you're also going to need a camera, a DSLR if you want, if, if you would, and mine is a Canon 60D. So you'll need a DSLR or a point and shoot or whatever camera that you have that doesn't have GPS, as long as this camera has an internal clock, you're good to go. An iPhone with the GPS Stone application installed. Now the key to success for geotagging all of your photos is to sync the clock with your iPhone with the internal clock inside your camera, which I have already done. So these two clocks inside these two devices, they're synced together. And that's the key because what the software program is going to do is going to be able to determine exactly where I am based on the exact moment that I snap a photo with my DSLR. I'm going to start that app. And I don't know if he's beeping at me or not. He's pretty far away. I can't imagine. One of my many fans, maybe. How about that? But anyway, I'm going to start recording my position with my app. So I'm going to click record my position. This thing's going to start up, and really, I don't even need my iPhone now. I can turn it off. I can put it in my pocket. It's going to record as long as I tell it to until I push a button. So now I'm ready to go. I can go all day long. I can drive all over town. I can drive all over the country. And what it's going to do is sync. That time is going to sync with the time in my camera. And now I can start snapping photos. It never, it never fails. I could be on the Antarctica and do something like this. You pull out a video camera, it's like honey to bees. Uh, people will show up just like that lady. There wasn't a soul in here driving around. That's just the way my luck goes. Anyway, let me take this picture and move on. Okay, this is going to be my fourth and final stop uh, today. I have found a random, old, abandoned cemetery, basically. Uh, this thing's in bad shape. I was just out driving a country road in my county and drove past this. I thought, oh man, there, there might be some good pictures here. But anyway, uh, this will be the last picture. 
And the only thing left to do now is to snap the picture. So let me go ahead and get that out of the way. So once you've got your final photo taken for the day, what you're going to want to do is go in there to the GPS Stone app, turn it off, and what it'll do, it'll, it's going to give you an option to email the .gpx file to yourself. Now what you're going to want to do is do that, email that file, and then you're going to enter that file into some software, and I'm going to show you where you get the software. It's super easy. You don't have to, you know, don't be intimidated and think that you have to have a DSLR or some kind of fancy camera or anything like that because you don't. This is for your everyday shooter. If you've got a point and shoot camera, that's all you need. As long as you can sync the clock inside that little point and shoot camera with your iPhone, you're good to go. So you can geotag your photos anyway. I'm going to have a description to my blog where I'm going to write a very detailed post about what I'm doing and it's going to contain all the links that you're going to need to do this on your own. I'd love for you to try it. Send me some information, make comments, and uh, if you like this or not, and if it works for you. You know what I'm going to say next. Wherever you're at, I hope you're having a great day. God bless the USA.